Hey, how you doing? So this week's episode is a little bit different and uh, we go and hang out with the Renegade Life and help get a diesel heater installed and uh, have a little hiccups along the way. And we also check out his battery setup and uh, what they're doing for uh, their boys and how they're staying in their bus. So uh, if that interests you, stick around. Yo. Does that work? Yeah, I just made it. So what are we doing here? This guy. We're gonna try to fit right in here. The diesel air heater. All the cool kids are putting that in their buses, RVs, houses, vans. Anything you want. Right now we're just trying to find uh, where the clamps may or may not be. JD's gonna prime this thing right now. We, can get we were joking around about it, but I think he's gonna do it. Now hold on, hey, you gotta drive later. You can't. <laughs> JD's already done the hard work. So I can plug this in now, right? I don't have power to it yet. You can yet. do whatever you want, it's yours. Just don't release the magic smoke. See, that's what I like about you, Sean. You're the type of guy that you're like, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get the project done. So most bus projects, Yeah. you get in your mind how long it's gonna take, times that by three, and then when all is said and done, you're you know, 10 times what you originally thought. Right. This is a review on this epic solar system here, because this looks way cool. It's uh, so we got four BYD solar batteries from a solar farm somewhere. All that runs pretty much over to this bad boy right here, which is my solar charge controller. This is, oh, this is where the kids sleep. That's pretty cool. They got their own little ladder to go up there. And right up here. That this turned out great. You got a light in here or no? Not yet. No, we've just been giving them little lanterns. Oh, this is exactly what you want to see when you're ready to go. Working on stuff right to the last minute. That's always how it works with me. Always doing something. It's always one more thing you want to get done. I let him know we're going to be sharing a little bit, but he doesn't know we're here. There's the man with the plan right there. Howdy. Oh, uh, just making it up as I go. Boy, you guys look like you're ready to go. You could probably leave in about 10 minutes. Dude, we packed <laughs> twice as much stuff as we had in our house in here. <laughs> oh. It has been uh, a joy. Well, it's the anxiety of what What? What if we need this? What What if we're going to... There we go. Does that work? Yeah, I just made it. Oh. i will probably pop one more rivet in it. So what are we doing here? Uh, Where is it? This guy. We're gonna try to fit right in here. And the diesel air heater. All the cool kids are putting that in their buses, RVs, houses, vans. <laughs> Anything you want. Anything so, you want to keep warm. Well, look, I gotta show you. This is the fanciest <laughs> stand ever. For uh, how much was this? Uh, that 199 bucks. It's the only uh, part of an MCI in this Eagle bus. <laughs> Actually, there might be some engine components. Okay. There's, there's been a lot of stuff hobbled together back there. But, uh, no, this is thanks to Sean. He custom fabricated this. Uh, the stand is going to hold the heater <laughs> up off of the ground. And the nice part is it's uh, non-combustible. Yeah, nice little heat shield there. Unlike the 2 by 4s I've been use. So what did you end up... Uh... Or what are you end up doing down there for the vent? Nothing so, yet? Last night I went to Menards. I was going to try to get uh, the pipe. Where is it? Here. A uh, little chunk of pipe to fit on the end of this muffler thing. Yeah. Uh, after I got there, had the two boys with me, three years old and five years old. So their attention span is right up there. Amazing. Yeah. yeah focus. And so I forgot this. Uh, so I ended up buying some aluminum, just sheet okay. aluminum, and I'm basically custom making uh, the extension. So this piece is going to be flush with the uh, outside wow. right here. So I wrapped this around it, got it riveted on, and then I threw a bunch of uh, RTV silicone high temp on it yeah. to seal it up. And then this one is going to go over top of it in the wall and stuff a bunch of fiberglass around it uh, to make it work. This is thanks to Sean. He had that idea. We did. We we, we uh, had a little idea jam session there, and we figured something out. It was way better than the <clears> idea <throat> I was coming up with, drilling a giant hole in the side and shoving it out. So... Yeah, so I think what we're going to end up doing, if it wasn't clear, is where that's the external hole there. I think what you're going to drill a whole bunch of little holes in there. Yeah, just kind of make it a grate. And that should preserve the exterior appearance because the yes. 
the outsides of these eagles just are beautiful. It's not just that yes. simple stainless steel that the MCIs use or the those Prevos. Jeez, there's garbage. Yeah, they're still so rough. <laughs> eagles were so good, they stopped making them. They didn't need to make them anymore. I they know. They were like, we got enough. We quit while you're perfect. Yeah. Right? Except for the whole <sighs> rust thing, but that's... There's no more rust on here. You, you cut it out and replaced it all. Oh, my goodness. Did I ever? No, I was so sad. I found another chunk way in the engine compartment. <laughs> Non-important, but it was still frustrating yeah. to find after you. So the, uh, I don't know if you can see how rounded off this bit is. Yeah. Right there. The steel that this is made of. Nice high quality. It is incredibly huh. solid. So pop through the aluminum super easily and go drilling on this thing. Rounded out this one. And because I was impatient. Uh, all right, so we'll get to it, I guess. Yeah. All right, so we have the temporary mount here. It's nothing screwed down yet. You can see the insulation packed in around there. That shouldn't kill anyone. And before anybody writes any comments, JD has thought of everything. Ah, still in the box. Still in the box. Uh -huh. <laughs> that way, if it doesn't work, you can return it or what? Well, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, once I get a diesel air heater in. Okay. Right now, we're just trying to find uh, where the clamps may or may not be. Each of these kits seems to be maybe a little bit different or I don't know. All right, let's uh, do this. So we're just closing in on uh, getting it mounted. It's got... Uh, Looking beautiful. Custom mounting plate is coming in real nice. We got some foil tape on the uh, muffler there. Connecting to our custom glass pack silencer thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we just need to hook up our fuel pump. This and guy. JD is going to be demonstrating how to uh, manually prime that fuel line. <laughs> Pay attention. It's uh, very delicate. No, we're thinking about using a brake booster or a brake bleeder, I think, is it? Uh, yeah. I suggested let's just suck on the end of it until fuel comes well, we out. we got, uh, I think, 10 feet of this line. Or maybe it was a 15-foot run, and I used every inch of it. So, which end is, goes up on this, you know? Uh, there is an in and an out. How do you uh, tell when it's not marked? Is, that, I, is that an arrow? No. Uh, I think there's an arrow, but it's covered behind the mounty thing. Let's I Let's go back to the directions here. From the looks of this... The uh, where the electrical connector is, that side facing the fuel supply. That's where you plug it in at. Yeah. On the electrical connector. Okay. Oh, well, not the fuel there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I, I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> Which side was? Supply side. Okay. So I'm going like. So I put this mount thing on backwards. Uh, maybe, but. Well, I'm not really using it. So these pumps make a lot of noise. They go click, 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 click all night long, and you can hear them. I fixed it on mine by suspending it with zip ties, and so that's what we're going to try and do here. And that's not my idea. That's on the YouTube. You can find it. So uh, we're going to suspend this so there's not a physical hard connection between it and any sound sounding board. So then I can suspend it around on the screw that way. Yeah, you need one just to kind of hold it up, and then the other one to create the angle that it needs. You need like a 15, 30 degree up angle. Do you know which side? Uh, the, the out, it goes up, correct? Yeah, okay. you, you are correct. Right. So I can cinch that down a little bit up here. Well, let's try it. JD's going JD's gonna to prime this thing let's right now. We, can get we this. were joking around about it, but I think he's going to do it. This is great. People are really tuning in for this. There it comes. How close are we? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> what's it taste like? <laughs> now hold on. Hey, you gotta drive later. You can't. 
There we go. That filter is almost full. Oh, nice job. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. What, what, what kind of, uh, how, how is it on the nose? A little, little. You can taste that without actually getting the fuel in there. You can, you can taste it. The number two diesel is just a little more less refined. I than can the, taste that uh, anti-gel I've got in it. Oh, yeah. that's what it is. That's that, that's that little sweet flavor. Well, the other thing, you need to make those vent holes on the outside. Otherwise, oh, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise we're going to have some problems. That'd be a good idea. Well, it's not perfect, but I think that'll work and that'll keep them safe. Done? Yeah, I want to know what you think here. Uh-huh. I oh, mean, that's my favorite shape. I don't know, I ended up, I tried to follow that uh, inner line there and put the inside of the mm -hmm. of the drill bit on there. It wasn't perfect, but... It looks like you thought it through, though. <laughs> Very meticulous. Worst case scenario, you can just take a, a hole saw right in that hole and cut it out and, and then... replace it with whatever you want. That's true. No, let's, that looks... Let's see how that goes. That looks wonderful. You know, the other thing I want everybody to see is a lot of people when they build a bus conversion, they think about a fireplace. Yeah. Rarely, I don't think anybody really thinks of this awesome of a fireplace. Yeah. Thing is a beast. <laughs> yeah. But it keeps us warm. Plenty. Yeah. Was it negative seven a week or so ago? And yeah. It, yeah, I mean, I had to get up in the night to feed it once. But yeah. Okay well, I do the same thing for myself. Yeah. I gotta feed myself in the middle of the night. <laughs> and look at this. Built in bread warmer. JD oh, thought of everything. The wife. I was I was looking out for her on that one. Yeah. Did you tell her about that? No, not no. yet. I still got it. I'll keep it as a surprise. That's gonna be, you know, when we hit the road. We'll be like, and honey, here I got a, I got a surprise for you. I will just open no. this up and she'll be like, what? It's empty. We'll be like, no. It's your bread warmer. So what do we got left? We got power to it? I, uh, not, I gotta get my ground. Oh, place. I was going to use one of these self tappers. No, oh, just a monster thing. So we're making the final ground connection here. And then we're going to be priming it. JD's already done the hard work. I'm just going to let the motor finish it up. And then uh, being that we have the exhaust taken care of. And we'll take a look at that once it's run into just to make sure we're not going to burn anything down. So JD's got an extra thick floor, so we had to get creative to find that ground. Just a little bit. There she bees. All right. That ain't going nowhere. I Am think I that, right? Am I, I right? That's just a. I think that's just a damn thing we say. We get to say that. So I can plug this in now, right? I don't have power to it. You can yet. do whatever you want. It's yours. Just don't release the magic smoke. I just... Everything runs on magic smoke. I know. We know this because when the magic smoke is released, it stops. No nothing works. It stops working. Yeah. So then this, I'm assuming, goes right here. Is this little thing a clip to hold it in place? Uh, yeah, push that down. Or just to release it? Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, probably to release it then. Yeah, it's oh, like a so safety it's connector. plugged in now, okay. So that's in. We're loosely grounded. I might put loose to me, it place. seemed like I was worried that it wasn't grabbing the steel. I think that's grabbing steel. Okay. I got a meter over here we can check too. All right, so I'll flip this on, and it should work. Well, nothing should happen until. Hey, that's that's a good sign. It's not yeah. clicking. Well, I thought I heard it click. First, it'll start yeah. blowing. Uh, I didn't get the user manual out. Uh, me. Well, I don't. Yours is. Well, being that it's so close, we could try and. I don't know how to prime this one. This one's different. I know on, on mine, I hit the two far buttons, and it'll go into prime mode. Oh, there we go. Found it. So this H O F, whatever that means, that's the pump mode. So mm -hmm. I think if we push up, it'll go to on or no. There we go. Oh, we're clicking. 
so we're just watching so am i trying to get the air out of this filter then I'm um i don't know if that air will ever that little pocket of air will ever completely come out oh, we yeah. just want fuel up to the igniter it won't take long i mean i would say really the next couple of seconds here we can turn this off Yeah, fuel pump's backwards. Bubble's getting bigger. It's blowing air into it. Oh. <laughs> well, the picture, the directions. Where are the directions? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, All right. That's the it's worst not, that happens. It's not my fault. Install. Actually, it probably is my fault. <laughs> Sorry, JD. It's okay. I forgive you. I do kind of like this monitor, though. It. I, it just feels nice and solid. I don't know. I know mine's got some different graphics and stuff, but. All right, well, let me know. When you got it back cinched on, I will turn it on. Or when you got the connections made. All right, it's back on now. <laughs> See, it's a good thing one of us was watching that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known. Oh, I see little air bubbles moving. That way. Which, toward the right direction? Going towards the heater. Hey, that's much better. I agree. This thing thumps. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's probably about the only noise. That's probably about as quiet as you're going to get that without wrapping it in some kind of sound isolation box. Mm -hmm. But like, if you put it up against something where it's physically touching it, it gets way louder. Oh, yeah. Set it on the floor and you can hear it for sure. Yep. There it goes. Almost gone. Yeah, you can hear that noise change when you touch the pump against something. It's kind of resting on the heater itself now. Okay. Can you push it up against the wall just to get a sound difference? Yeah. So that's what it would sound like if it was mounted firmly to the wall and then take it off. I mean... Oh, that's the fuel hole barely touching something. The sound's still probably going to be a little bit annoying, but maybe it'll be better once you get the top of the dinette on it. Oh, yeah, probably. I'll have four inches of foam on top of that. Now, what I don't know is if it Board. automatically shuts off. I know it event this cycle eventually shuts off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, it, if the fuel pump can sense that it's building pressure and stops, because I imagine we don't want to shove diesel into the burner. When it's not on. We can try and just turn it on. Mm -hmm. And if fuel doesn't get there, it'll turn off on its own. Let's do that. All right. Do you want to do the honors? Sure. How do we do this? Uh, I think you just push that one and hold, hold it down. There it goes. Something that. Is it blowing the right way? Yeah, it's blowing the right way. All right. Oh, did we get an error? Error 06. What is that? I have to look this thing up now. From the fuel tank. So it's a, they're saying it's a yeah. fan fault, huh? We got a fan fault. I mean, it was spinning up. I'm wondering if it's just new. Let's just try it. Let's yeah. fire it up again. The fan is on. Yeah, it's... Is it sucking from... Yeah, that's in. It's like right when it really starts wanting to wrap up, ramp up. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder if there's a sensor in there that's... If that ground is weak, mm -hmm. I wonder if that would be not letting it... Oh, like it's not able to pull enough Yeah. juice? So that's spinning freely, so it's got to be the sensor. Which part is spinning? Oh, the part right there? Yeah, the fan is spinning. I feel like it's spinning faster, but then it turns off. So the six, the zero six yeah. error is a fan error, but our spin's fine. We even tried it taking that thing off. All right, this is a big moment here. JD might have fixed it. He reseated everything. And, uh, well, I don't know. Will you explain well, the, it? The hall sensor that senses the RPM, so there's magnets. Whoa. On the uh, inside of the fan wheel there, there's two magnets. And then there's a hall sensor on this plastic board right here, right on the inside. 
And uh, in taking this off, you could see that the hall sensor was like bent back. So there was probably, yeah, three millimeters further away than what it is right now. And you can hear the fan isn't spinning up to max RPM like it was before right now, which makes sense because it didn't, it couldn't tell how fast it was spinning. Now it can. Yeah. I'm smelling something. It sh there it goes. Oh, it's clicking. Now we should hear it fire up here if there's diesel to where it needs to be. There, I hear it. Oh, I, I, I just heard something. Yep. I smell it. It'll take a, a couple of seconds. Oh, I'm feeling warmth on the top there. <laughs> right now it is, uh, what does it say back here? Well, that's a 60 degrees. In <laughs> it it could used to be a little warmer in here. I mean, JD hasn't taken off his hat, but he rarely no. does between the months of November and March. Yeah. Dude, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Loves it so much he's leaving. Exactly. Oh, you can hear that flame now. Whoa. Geez, now that hose is growling. Where's that coming from? Is it from it itself? I don't know where that's coming from. Well, that's heating up. Is it? Did we screw in both sides? Oh, that's my intake. Oh, that's, you gotta put the thing on. So I gotta put my muffler on. Turns out that's okay. There, that's what that thing does. <laughs> we were wondering how important that was. Turns out very. Oh yeah, oh. that's good. Oh, and you can see there's some smoke outside. The good kind, I think. As long as we don't have smoke inside. Oh yeah. That's Should we go so take a look at yeah, let's what's going on outside? outside okay, a little bit of moisture came out of there. Like you said, worst case scenario, a whole saw and you can put a little extension off. Yep. Carry it out further. Oh yeah, that smells great. Yeah, it just smoked a little bit on startup. That wasn't bad. Sm smells a little bit like diesel in here, but... Or smells a little bit like something, but I think that's kind of to be expected on first run, yeah. maybe. Everything's burning. You know, like, wow. when you, like when you turn the heat on. Oh yeah, that's probably the heat coming out of the end there yeah that's feeling good right here the, that's blowing up that way wow that gets hot all right bring on the 20 below <laughs> i can survive now oh, well now yeah. i don't have to feed this thing in the middle of the night i can yep. kick the thermostat on on this and uh when the wood stove burns out so it looks like this is throttling down a little bit the, uh... Oh, it's on the. Uh... So I think what it does is it throttles up until it gets the burner to a, a uh, specific temperature, oh. and then it throttles back down to whatever this. Uh, I think this means like four pumps a second. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to switch this one into thermostat mode. Right oh, now it's. Was, uh... I think I remember seeing something about it. Uh, and then you do this to kill the sound even more. So we're just I think testing. The sound is coming out from the intake right here now. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad once, you know. That's probably as loud as my stove fan there and there. Oh, that's true. Going, so. That definitely keeps the noise down quite a bit. Woo! Hot down! Is it still blowing on hot air? That's still blowing very hot air. I don't hear the pump at all. Do you feel it? I feel it, yeah. That's just I resting wonder, on the ground. I wonder if it just has to break in. Because it was making noise before. It's not making any noise yeah, right now. that's true. We definitely could hear it. There's maybe air in there. I don't know. I was worried that it wasn't running or something. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. See, that's what I like about you, Sean. You're the type of guy that you're like, we're going to go in and we're going to get the project done. <laughs> Can I tell you how surprised Leo was with the solar panels? When we did that in one day, getting the solar panels mounted. So most bus projects, yeah, you get in your mind how long it's going to take. You times that by three, and then when all is said and done, you're you know ten times what you originally thought. Right. How long it takes. And uh, so when 
we were planning on putting the solar panels up. You know, Sean here was uh, gracious enough to volunteer to come over. And uh, my wife thought that it was going to be one of those great. We'll start the project today, and in two weeks it'll be done. <laughs> and in one rainy, cold... Did it snow that day? I, it felt like it could have. It was very cold. It was cold. It was one of those, like, it was around maybe... Yeah, it was, it was really close to freezing. And one day we got the rails mounted, the solar panels up, bolted down. And I think I had, what, two panels left to bolt down myself yeah. when you had to take off. So... You're the kind of guy that goes in and gets it done. Well, I appreciate that. Right? Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> or I appreciate it. Whatever. Uh, it's fun working on stuff. I'm glad you got this going. So he's still got some ducting to run and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, but it's the little things, little victories. Or at least he got heat. Hold on. Before we uh, end here, what's the review on this epic solar system here? Because this looks way cool. It's uh, so got four of the uh they were uh byd solar batteries from a solar mm -hmm. farm somewhere they were the hot item about a year ago i picked up four of them stripped the heat sinks off all that stuff uh so i got them placed uh right here all the cells are parallel together uh trying to maximize capacity because some of them do have some weaker cells and then all that runs pretty much over to this bad boy right here which is my solar charge controller um MPP solar. It's a 3,000 watt, um, but it native outputs uh, 220 volts. So I got a step down transformer back in there uh, to step it down, actually to give me split phase for my 110. And that's pretty cool. I, th I think last time we saw this, it was just batteries in here. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Now this, you got your BMSs in there. Yep. You got all your all stuff. You got a little heater in there to keep it warm. That's, this is also my water bay. Too. And so the water bay. You can see back here, this is my fresh water tank. Mm -hmm. Back here on the other side are the gray that's, and black tanks. That's smart. They'll keep each other warm. So that way, uh, yeah, honestly, on the coldest day here, when was that a couple weeks ago, seven below? The coldest I saw um, inside, or then the thermometer in here, was 42 degrees in this bay. So Nice. Yeah, nothing should be freezing in here. Wish I could say the same for my toilet in there. <laughs> Another another day, another story. Exactly. Oh. So what's the... Is the Bombay showable? Yes. So this is where the kids are going to be staying. Oh, look at... That's... There's no more moisture coming out of here. It actually feels kind of nice there standing here. Look, it's dry enough. Oh, nice. this, is, oh. this is where the kids sleep. That's pretty cool. They got their own little ladder to go up there. And the hatch is right up here. Yep. That This turned out great. You got a light in here or no, not yet? No, we've just been giving them little lanterns uh, that they go back on. In that That's pole. cool. And they got a little divider there, or their head sleep in here? No, the, he the head sleep in there, and then there's a fan on that back wall there, an intake fan down the uh -huh. so that way warm air can come in through. This is the hatch right here. We always have that open. Okay. Um, when they're sleeping, and then there's the intake going there, so air is always cycling. Okay, that's good. Way. That's good. Yeah. And that's all insulated? Yeah. That's the, so cool. The walls insulated, the floor. It's a proper bunkhouse bus. They've, uh, they've enjoyed it. All right, there he is. All right, JD. All right. I think I've helped you, but you can handle about all. Or start over. <laughs> I think uh, you've had about all of my help you can handle. Oh, so and it's great. We got a working heater in. Yep. It's it's toasty in there now. Yep. And uh, there's a generator I want to use. And, yep. You know, worst case scenario. We don't need it. He can buy it. Actually, from hopefully me. we're. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he doesn't even need it. He's yeah. got how much solar on there again? Uh, Three. Thirty-three hundred. Thirty-three hundred watts. Thirty-three fifty. But you never know. On a perfectly sunny day, at the just the right, you can get that. Yeah, we all know that goes. Um, yeah, it's a nice thought. We yeah. came up with that calculation. All right. So, cool, Sean. Get out of here. Thank you. We'll see, see ya. ya. Have a good one. Well, we're back home in. Uh, our bus here but uh, as you can tell uh jd and i have a good time uh working on stuff together and uh you know i i don't know if, how much we talked about it but they are heading out super soon um so go ahead subscribe to their channel renegade life uh also check out their website i think it's renegade dot life the renegade dot life i'll put it down here somewhere uh check them out you can uh support them uh learn about what they're doing really like it and uh, hopefully we'll meet up with them on the road someday. 
but until next time, check you guys later. And subscribe to us too and all that. Whatever. Bye.